Hello world, welcome back to Subway 23's Thought Experiment. We are in our scale and rotation system. This is episode number four, uh, scale and rotate system class. This is part two of that. Delete all children will be a quick one, so void. Just to clarify, methods, much like variables, um, do have a access modifier available to them. Uh, again, no access modif modifier is assumed private. So we're going to delete all children and oops if there's an in there it fixes that right there we go and this one's really really simple so we're doing a quick for each loop for each transform and we'll call that transform child in our current transform destroy child game object so if you're not really familiar with the for each loop we're calling creating uh, a reference to a transform for everything inside this particular object at the moment all the children of this object we will go through one at a time and we will destroy each child that's all that does here is the heart of the lesson um, and we are going to start with void draw selection box which fixes that and here I'm going to paste my instructions from the previous graphic you saw and that way we can use these as a reference for which part is happening when so we got that accomplished so here's the name of our variables and this should be fine so first off we need to create our object SAR object equals You'll notice here I'm using the class game object, not the lowercase game object. Create primitive. Primitive type dot cube. Simple enough, right? Now we're going to take our object. Dot transform dot position and we're going to set its transform and position based on this object's transform and position hmm try to figure out how I like this better nope not like that Yeah, I like that better. And now we're going to set its parent Oops. dot parent equals game object dot transform comma or colon semicolon. All right. Next up, because we don't want a collider on this particular object, um, because what it will do is it will actually block us being able to select the object that the script is attached to, uh, which can cause problems. So we're going to destroy and just so you understand why a collider is part of the object that is auto it's automatically created with the object okay
Now we need to give it a reference to the render. We called our render object rend. Up to this point, not too bad. Um, right now, we are going to get our bounds, and then we're going to set three variables based on those bounds. So first, sar bounds equals this game object dot get component bounds is attached to the mesh filter. mesh dot bounds all right so now we have sar bounds is our bounds as a whole now we're going to create float dot length equals sar bounds i probably should have done a lower case but dot size dot x comma or semicolon, then float width equals sar bounds dot size dot y and float height equals object. No, I'm sorry, sar bounds. dot size dot z semicolon all right so halfway there a little bit more then now we're going to scale the object so that it's just a slight bit bigger than the object it's surrounding um, so we'll set sar object dot transform dot local scale to equal a new vector three to be length times 1.1 f so basically we want it to be 0.1 bigger and we're just going to repeat that for width and height now to save a little time cool. on this next section I'm going to copy and paste um, but what we're doing here is we're like it says create eight points around the object so we're taking it the bounds min and the bounds max and we're using the X Y and Z combinations of 001, 010, 100, et cetera, et cetera. Everything but 000 and 111, which are going to be your min and max. Uh, but all the common, all the possible combinations, that creates all eight of our points. And after we've created our points, we're going to create endpoints this is another function that we're calling from inside this or another method called being called from inside this method um, and we will use points plus this dot transform dot position you do not have to put the this I just do so it's clear Now we're going to do this a whole bunch of times while changing this. So we run that method eight times and that creates our eight objects. Uh, then we're going to, to create one more method called create material. 
and then finish this one. Oops, let's put that where it goes. And then finish this method off with um, our SAR object dot tag equals scale and rot sys. We do need the quotes. And that's the entire draw selection box uh, function. Now we're going to create two more quick, fun well, we're going to create the signatures of the functions. Uh, void create endpoint and we're going to have vector 3 position and then void create material we're not passing anything into that and for those of you that still might be fairly new at C sharp uh, in unity what we're doing here in number in nine is creating an endpoint we're calling this function and we're sending into it um, the point that we created here uh, plus the transform this transform position um, and that's going into here, which we will use when we write this function. Um, but for now, that's going to be a, the next episode. We're going to do our create material function. And, um, and, uh, and depending on the length of time that takes, we will move into the next one. Uh, possibly this one next or uh, the episode after anyways. Um, my name is Jason. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends about it, and uh, above all else, have fun, and I will see you all in the next episode. Peace.